Hi, welcome to Couserwise channel. In this series of videos, we are going to see cash flow statement as per accounting standard 3. So please try to watch the complete videos in order to get the thorough knowledge about this topic. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Also, you can find the links for various topics on various subjects over there. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Okay, now let's get into the video. First, we should understand the meaning of cash flow statement as per accounting standard 3. Okay, see what is the meaning of cash flow statement? Cash flow statement reports the cash receipts that is inflow of cash and payments that is outflow of cash classified according to the firm's major activities. Okay. The organization's activities are classified into three major categories. Number one is operating activities. Number two, investing activities. And the third one is financing activities. Okay. These are the three components which are there in cash flow statement. Okay. So, now let us see what are the basic data required to prepare cash flow statement as per accounting standard 3. See. The first one is opening and closing balance sheet. Okay. By comparing opening balance and closing balance, we can able to see if there is any changes in assets and liabilities. Okay. The first information required is opening and closing balance sheet. The second one is income statement that is profit and loss account for the period concern. Okay. Income statement also one of the basic data required to prepare cash flow statement. And the third one is any additional information. Okay. Regarding inflow and outflow of cash. So, these are the three important basic data required to prepare cash flow statement. Now, let us see the format of cash flow statement. Let us see the format of cash flow statement indirect method. As you all know, there are two different methods are there. The first one is direct method, another one is indirect method. In exam point of view, you can follow indirect method unless if there is any specific instruction. If they ask you to prepare direct method, you can follow direct. Otherwise, you can simply follow indirect method because this one is most popular one. Okay, see. The first one is that is starting point is net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Okay. This is the starting point. Okay. I will tell you how to calculate net profit before tax and extraordinary item in the next video. You can find the links in the description box. This is the first working note. You need to calculate net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Okay. After finding this calculation, then you have to do three important adjustments. Okay. So, after doing three different adjustments, then you can find the cash from operating activities. As I told earlier, cash flow statement can be prepared in three different stages. Three different components are there. The first one is cash from operating activities. So, in order to find out the cash from operating activities, you have to do three important adjustments. Okay, number one is adjustment for non-cash and non-operating items. So, non-cash means the transaction which is not going to affect, which is not going to increase or decrease cash. Okay. So, non-operating means uh, certain transaction which is not directly related to the operating activities of the organization. Okay. Such transactions are called non-operating. I will tell you what are the various non-cash and non-operating items. If you find such items in the income statement, simply we have to do two things. One is we need to add certain non-operating expenses and we need to subtract certain non-operating or non-cash incomes. Okay. See, the examples are given. Number one, depreciation. This is the first and best example for non-cash item or non-operating expense. So, if you find depreciation in the income statement, simply add back. Okay. 
the next one is goodwill return off if there is any intangible assets return off simply you have to add because these are the examples for non cash and non operating items the next one is fictitious assets and capital losses return off like discount on issue of debentures preliminary expense return off okay so these are the fictitious assets and capital losses the next one is uh, dividend income and interest income so these are the non operating incomes if you find such non operating income simply subtract okay so subtract dividend income and interest income from the net profit and the last one is uh, if there is any interest expense this is also non operating expense okay this is not related to the operating activities of the organization so these are the items related to finance that is non operating transactions so this is the first adjustments we have to make in order to find out the net cash flow from operating activities now let us see the second adjustment okay the second adjustment is adjustment for gains or losses on sale of fixed assets and investment okay see sale of assets or investment is a non operating transaction for the organization okay while you sell any assets or investment there will be chances of profit or loss on sale of asset in case of loss simply add because this one is non operating expense so we need to add okay at the same time in case of gain on sale of asset or investment simply we need to subtract the reason is this one is non operating income so we need to subtract such non operating incomes okay so these are the two things we have to do under second adjustment that is adjustments for gain or losses on sale of assets and investments after doing the two adjustments you will be getting one amount no that amount is called operating profit before changes in working capital okay after doing the above two adjustments then we have to do the third one the third adjustment is adjustment for current assets and current liabilities okay so when you consider current assets and current liabilities uh, except cash and cash equivalent okay i'll tell you what are the items or cash equivalent while we do the problem okay except these items we need to take all current assets and current liabilities okay in case of any changes the changes can be either increase or decrease of assets and liabilities okay see for example when current asset increases this will lead to increase net profit okay for example if debt has increased automatically this will lead to increase net profit but this will not reflect in cash until debt has are collected okay so that you have to do opposite calculation see decrease in current assets will lead to decrease net profit so we need to add okay in the same way increase in current asset will increase net profit so that we need to subtract okay in the same way increase in current liabilities will reduce the net profit so that we need to add okay and decrease in current liabilities will lead to increase net profit so we need to subtract okay these are the adjustments we have to do the reason is these changes will increase or decrease net profit but not reflected in cash transaction so that we have to do these adjustments again i repeat decrease in current asset add increase in current asset minus okay in the same way increase in current liabilities add and decrease in current liabilities minus okay so after doing these three adjustments you will be getting cash generated from operations okay so after finding cash generated from operations we need to do two adjustments number one is income tax paid in case of any income tax paid in the problem just subtract okay then after subtracting income tax paid you will be getting cash flow 
before extraordinary items okay i'll tell you what are the items or extraordinary incomes and extraordinary expenses while we do the problem okay see in case of any extraordinary items we need to add or subtract in case of extraordinary expenses minus in case of extraordinary income simply add so these are the two adjustments you have to do after finding cash generated from operations okay so these are the important steps we have to do in order to find out the first calculation that is net cash from operating activities as i told earlier there are three different components are there in cash flow statement under indirect method the first step is finding out net cash from operating activities okay so far we have seen what are the various adjustments we have to do to find out the fund from or cash from operating activities now let us see the second component cash flows from investing activities okay let us see what are the items which comes under investing activities okay the first one is purchase of fixed assets and investments if the company invest any amount on assets or investments that has to be subtracted okay here you have to enter the money within the bracket within the bracket indicates minus you have to subtract any purchase of fixed assets and investment because this one is outflow of fund outflow of cash so we need to subtract and the next one is sale of fixed assets and sale of investment okay so this is also one of the important investing activity but this one lead to inflow of cash so inflow of cash add and outflow of cash minus okay so purchase minus sales add okay so these are the important things which comes under investing activities so apart from purchase and sale in case of any income derived from investment it can be in the form of interest received or dividend received so this is also one of the income which comes under investing activities okay so these are the two things which comes under income from investment that is inflow of fund so inflow need to be added okay so again i repeat here three components are there number one purchase of fixed assets and investment outflow so minus sale of assets and investment inflow so add okay the next one is income from investing activities it can be interest received or dividend received so both are inflow of fund so add okay so these are the three adjustments which comes under cash flow from investing activities after doing these adjustments you will be getting net cash from investing activities okay so far we have calculated two components number one is net cash from operating activities and the second one net cash from investing activities now let us see the third component what is the third component in cash flow statements yes financing activities that is cash flows from financing activities okay so here you can find out the financing transaction under liability side as well as uh, income statement okay the first one is under financing activities proceeds from issue of share capital okay in case of any changes in share capital it can be increase or decrease okay increase means inflow of fund that has to be added back okay and the next one is proceeds from long term borrowings in case of any changes in long term borrowings it can be increased or decreased so increase means you have borrowed additionally so it is a additional inflow of cash so that has to be added back okay the next one is uh, repayment of long term borrowings okay in case of increase in long term borrowings it is a inflow okay in case of decrease which means repaid that is you have already repaid okay such items need to be subtracted so repayment lead to outflow of fund excess amount lead to inflow of borrowings so that uh, any excess amount add any repayment minus the next one is uh, interest paid and dividend paid these are the two transactions which is related to financing activities that is uh, any interest paid 
or dividend paid okay because you have borrowed money from third parties so that you have to pay interest oh, this is the expense related to financing activity so any interest paid or dividend paid has to be entered under financing activities okay so these are the various transactions or adjustments related to cash flow from financing activities after making all adjustments that is plus or minus you will be getting net amount no that net amount is called net cash from financing activities this is the third component under cash flow statement so after doing the three different categories that is the first one is net cash from operating activities number two net cash from investing activities number three net cash from financing activity you have to find out the total okay the total can be positive or negative value okay such amount is called net increase or decrease in cash and cash equivalent if you get positive figure means net increase if you get negative figure then it is called decrease in cash okay you can get either increase or decrease okay after finding this figure then the final thing is we need to add opening cash balance or opening cash equivalent if any that is opening cash balance and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year need to be added in order to find out the or check or reconcile the opening balance with the closing balance okay the closing balance that is closing cash balance and cash equivalent at the end of the year will be getting so you can find the opening cash balance and closing cash balance in the problem itself so you can easily check whether your answer is right or wrong okay by comparing these two things so this is the complete format of cash flow statement as per accounting standard 3 that is indirect method in the upcoming videos we are going to see various numerical problem based on this format you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please support us by hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you